like to buy some supplies, man. Ten pound sack of flour. Five pounds of sugar. Did you walk up here, young fella? I don't see your car outside. You mean you walked all the way up this mountain? It's over 85 miles to the nearest town. And it's not walking either. It's climbing. Almost straight up. Uh, four boxes of 30 out six ammunition. Going hunting, eh? My uh, wife, Henriette, and me, we rent out cabins to hunters and such. Ha have you got a place to stay? Uh, yes. Uh, you didn't say just where you might be staying. No. I'll uh, need a saw, a hammer, and some eight penny nails. Saw a hammer and eight penny nails? You ain't figuring on building yourself a cabin, are you? No. Well, if you ain't gonna build yourself a cabin, would you mind telling us what you need them tools for? Yes. Yes, yes what? Yes, I'd mind telling you. I'm Reverend Larson. And this Bacon? Now, this is Doc Baines here. But uh, I'm not an MD. I'm a veterinarian. My practice is confined pretty much to sheep. You see, this is mostly sheep herding country up here. And this is Harvey Farnsworth. He helps Hugh and Ellen around the store here. And that's Cobb Wiley over there. If you have any questions about the area here, we'll be happy to answer them for you. Won't we, boys? Oh, sure, sure. You can count on us. Thank you. I'll take that gray coffee pot and 10 pounds of coffee. Well, how much does that come to altogether? 87.23. I, I think that's right. Well, I'm sure it's fine. It's a hundred dollar bill. It's all right to me. Give me his change. I understand you have a couple of burrows. I'd like to buy one. How'd you know that I... I'll give you $100 for your best one. I've never met you before, have I? Well, who told you about my burrows? If you get the burrow, I'd like to load him and be on my way. Go on, take it. You got no use for them burrows. They're just ornery pits. Well, all right. Aristotle's the best one, but I won't part with him. You can have Plato. I'll go get him. There, I'll give you a hand with this. You see that? All hundred dollar bills, every one of them, I bet. How many do you think, Harv? I don't know, it must have been two, maybe three thousand dollars. Yeah. Why would a man carry all that cash with him up in the mountains? There you are. You're all set. Thank you. I believe he's the most close-mouthed fella. He's an odd one, all right. The biggest, too. Excuse me. That the uh, weight of the high number one? High number one? Did I hear you right? You're going up to high number one? That's right. 
Just what are you planning to do up there? Planning on minding my own business. Is that the way? Yep, that's the trail. Hey, mister, you want some advice? There's nothing worth going up there for. That old mine's been closed more than 40 years. You know, Doc, he's plumb crazy. Maybe not. Maybe he's going up there to hide out or something. But Harvey, we all know he's going up there. So he's not too good at hiding, is he? Well, at least we should know more about him. Well, he seems to know more about us, Doc's Burroughs, for instance, than we know about him. Think maybe you uh, ought to call the sheriff, you? <laughs> 